Hello, buzz and girls. My name is Hansel C, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft here in our big project, the 2x2 Universal Tree Farm. Last time we built up this big piston wall back there to push all the locks over and today we will build something behind me to uh, destroy all the locks. And the mechanism that uh, will trigger the whole thing will sit somewhere around here and is then triggered by the incoming flying machine, uh, which means once all the locks are put over on this side, we can start blasting them. So uh, uh, let's start building this up then. The first part is now in place and that's actually the activation of the whole thing. Back there on the side we do have one observer, the back one, that powers a block on this side, which it so happens is this one. Uh, which will then turn this uh, this rail. Uh, we uh, reroute it through here, and then we power this block. And here we have a bit of a mechanism to start things off. And we do have a clock here uh, with 33 items in there. And basically, uh, we this piston is butt powered from this block, and when we power this piston, this one gets updated, and we loop one time around. And here on this side, we have a bit uh, more uh, magic going on with uh, various observers that are pushed around. And I think once we have the bottom layer of our TNT duplication thingy in place, it will make more sense, hopefully. And now we are standing on the lowest modules of our TNT duplication thingy. And this is actually in itself, it's too layered because we get the signal uh, from down here. Um, basically by pushing this piston up, we power that repeater, uh, which is observed by that observer back there, passing the signal one time to the back and then further to the front. And this is actually then where we pass the signal up through this observers and then pass it further back. Uh, here we have the same thing and that's where we uh, propagate the signal upwards. And also here towards the front where we have the, the TNT duplication and first we duplicate the TNT. So uh, that's through this piston which uh, pushes the thing over this side. Um, and then the second time is through this one where we push everything out. And the way this works, we start with uh, firing this one once, then we have the other one, and then this one again. And you can see here in the back, there is a slight difference in the two modules, because here we have this additional line here on the side and on Basically, on each uh, triggering, um, we move this observer back and forth. So uh, first, uh, we trigger this line, and then we trigger that line. 
and that means that on the on shooting first uh, the TNT uh, is hold back a bit longer so it uh, does not fly that far back before exploding and the second time it goes through the back to also reach the back uh, locks that we have there. So uh, I think that explains how this works. And I think on the next layer, I will show you how to put the uh, uh, TNT duplication uh, together because it's always a bit difficult to do that uh, without uh, the TNT accidentally uh, going off and uh, destroying everything. And here we are one layer up and there you can see how the signal is transferred up. We have an observer observing these last repeaters and then we pass the signal further to the front uh, with this repeater which then is passed upwards uh, twice more and I find the easiest way to place these uh, minecarts uh, is not or one way is that you can uh, trigger the uh, the duplication device so it assembles itself or you can basically uh, push in the minecart from the side like this right and then all we have to do is get back uh, these things and then do the same thing over here rail like this yep uh, but not on here that's exactly where we don't want it but here on this side and minecart on top and then power the piston here from the back side not from the side because that here takes it and that will push the rail but the the minecart then basically pops back right and we have to redo the whole thing so there are a few more layers until the top so i will do that and then we will see the whole contraption when it's completed a few blocks later and this contraption is also completed and it looks quite impressive but even here uh, after you have built one to layer you figure out the, the rhythm, the block placing, how you can do it even in survival. But if you are wondering, does it actually work? Well, you and me have to wait for the next episode because then we will test the whole contraption and if anything fails, we will fix it. So don't forget to tune in next time. Until then, goodbye.